Hey everybody, it's Chris back with another review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. Today I'm going to be reviewing another IPA. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Guys, I'm trying to keep these uh, reviews for beers that are roughly in the $2 neighborhood. And unfortunately, especially for craft brewers, uh, that means an overabundance of IPAs. We're still in the IPA period. They're still very trendy. So, I'm sorry. I really wish I could uh, put more varieties in or more frequently, but um, that's just how it goes. You know, when there's there's an overabundance of IPAs, that's what we end up with. Uh, so, not that I have anything against IPAs, I just would really, really like some of you craft brewers out there to start working on, say, I don't know, brown ales or porters or... You know, even varieties that I don't normally like, like Saison. If there was some affordable Saisons, but in the end, it's it's pretty much the IPAs that are that price. So, off a of soapbox, it bound into the beer. This is the Dew East New England style IPA from Boulder Beer Company. And if I've had Boulder beers before, I honestly can't bring them to mind. Um, this 12 ounce can cost me a buck ninety nine. Boulder Beer describes itself as Colorado's first craft brewery enjoyed since 1979, so they definitely got some years on them. Um, give me just one second, I think I hear the can. I oh, apologize for that. Technical difficulty, thought I heard the cat. Wanting to be let out. Anyway, um, so a few facts about this beer. It has a 6.9 ABV, pretty standard for an IPA, 60 IBU, so it's a little more on the bitter side, which uh, personally I dig a lot. Um, it is two months past its uh, its best buy date, uh, which means that when I bought it, it was already past its best buy date. So I've already made my statement about uh, total wine. Um, you know, the, the other thing is, if I found another place that, that sold beers affordably, I'd be there. But as it is, gang, all I can really find in terms of the $2 range for beers is Total Wine. And unfortunately, they they don't do the best job of making sure their beers are within range uh, or within uh, are uh, sold prior to their Best Buy dates. Um, two of my friends gave this a cumulative score of 3.75, 7,120 of us. I've reviewed it on Untapped and given it a 3.64 cumulatively. Once again, Beer Advocate does not have the date of the original um, review, but it does have a total, and 51 people on Beer Advocate have given it a cumulative score of 3.46, which gives it only an OK ranking. So, OK is, I guess, uh, better than bad, but um, it's not really particularly noteworthy to call something OK. Uh, so, anyway, let's crack this bad boy open. It is a New England style IPA, so it should be pouring nice and hazy. I'm going to be using my Tamea Creek IPA glass uh, one more time and explain this. And, well, one more time. Who am I kidding? Every time I bust out this glass, I say it. So, anyway, bust out this glass, so I'm here to tell you. Go into Tamea Creek Brewery. Slap down $6. You're going to get a glass just like this full of house beer. When you're finished with your beer, walk up to the counter, slap down $3 more. You're going to get refills. Take the glass home with you at the end of the night. Bring it back next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, every time you slap down 3 bucks, you're going to get refills of house beer. I don't know of a better deal than that anywhere. Well, anywhere, actually. I was going to say anywhere in town, but I don't know of a better deal than that anywhere. In terms of getting good craft beer, now let's see... This is pouring, oh, we got a lot of carbonation, that's for sure. And okay, so we got a nice, nice foamy head. Um, it's hazy, but I got to tell you, it's not quite as hazy as I was expecting a New England IPA to be. Uh, I'd say that's about medium carbonation, very, very teeny tiny bubbles, teeny tiny bubbles. Uh, the head doesn't seem to be breaking up the bubbles too much, so I'm going to refer to that as a fairly resilient head. Um, yeah, I guess it's kind of cloudy, but I don't know, it, it's just not as cloudy as I kind of expect uh, the variety to be. 
Well, we certainly do have a lot of uh, what smells like citra hops, maybe Simcoe, but um, very citrusy, hoppy smell. <sighs> Almost grapefruity uh, kind of uh, citrusy smell. Let's see if I can top this off any. All right. Yeah, the color that you're seeing is actually a little bit darker than the color, but this is one of those few times when the camera color and the actual color are not too far apart. And just more of, this, of those hops and a little bit of boozy smell uh, on top of that. So I guess it's time to dig in and start drinking. Cheers. Well, it's an IPA. Uh, it's not a bad IPA, but um, it's not a particularly noteworthy IPA either. <laughs> I can see why it got an okay ranking on uh, Beer Advocate. There's nothing, nothing against it. No, it's, like I said, it's not bad. It's not particularly good either. It's an IPA. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to give it a 3.25. 3 for uh, the beer and 0.25 for uh, putting it in a can. Kind of a low mouth feel, not particularly spiky. Um, maybe just the slightest alcohol burn in the back. Uh, but otherwise, I, I can't say there's anything particularly noteworthy about the beer. Um, if it was cheap and it was the only craft beer that was available in a bar, you better believe I'd grab it. Um, but uh, I'll put it to you this way if I walked into a bar and I saw, you know, some of those places that have 16, 17 taps on hand and they've got all kinds of different beers. If there was another beer that was uh, about the same price, I'd be grabbing it. Uh, I would grab it, uh, as I said, if it was the only craft available. <clears throat> but that would pretty much have to be the circumstances. Um, all in all, not a bad beer, and I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm more than willing to try more beers from Boulder Beer Company. So until next time, until next time, gang, drink good beer, don't break the bank doing it, and cheers.